Let's VR! This is Amber. You're watching Virtual Reality Gameplay. Today I am playing Annie Amber on the Gear VR. Annie Amber is an exploration puzzle game. And I had to play it because my name is Amber. <laughs> so the, how you move in this game is you look at those white circles. So you don't need to use the controller or even tap the head headset. You just gaze at the circle. And when you're looking at it, you're, you move towards it. And if you look away, you stop moving. So if I want to move to this corner of the room, I look at that circle and I move towards it. And so here I'm inside this kind of playroom with pictures and handprints from a child. And so this is, I guess, Annie's childhood or her memories. And so now I want to get sort of down there through the floor. And so I have to position myself by looking at the uh, circle so that I'm right over the circle in the floor and when I gaze at that one I go outside into space <laughs> so uh, if you've played those space shooter games on the Gear VR and you wished you could actually get out of your spaceship and wander around in space this is your chance and you never meet anyone else in the game there are no other characters and no dialogue so the, the object is just to complete the journey and explore all the chapters. Each one represents a stage in Annie Amber's life. And so here we're in our childhood because we see the building blocks and toys. And you can hear the piano um, in the background. The, the music in this game is really neat. So yeah, in, in this um, uh, level, this is the, the first uh, chapter of the game. There's really no puzzles to solve. You're sort of just exploring and experiencing so this is definitely not, you know, an action game. Um, it's more of a, it's actually almost more of an experience than a game. But th there are some some light puzzles, which I'll show you uh, in a bit. So here I'm at this little kind of xylophone toy. And now I'm looking back. And to uh, get to the next level, you have to find the red circle. So these white circles will move you around. And when you get to the, the red circle that'll take you to the next chapter and there it is so the red circle is kind of just behind this umbrella and when I look through there it's going to take me to the next chapter so now I'm in the level select and I've unlocked all the levels and each um, you know chapter is represented by a door and so if you want to replay a chapter you can just go through the the corresponding door and there's a, a picture on the wall beside it to remind you which level that was so now I'm going to this level which I remember had a planet with rings around it and so now I'm inside most of the, the chapters start inside and then you go outside and so this is kind of a surreal scene with pillows and a couch and there is kind of the um, puzzle the yellow pieces so all you have to do is look at the the puzzle pieces and they'll kind of fit themselves into shape and sometimes that's all you need to do to open the door, but for this one you also have to arrange the uh, beads on this xylophone thing. So when I put my gaze cursor over it, it'll move the beads. First I'll move the first row, then I'll move the second row, and so I can move the beads in order on the five rows, and I have to figure out which row they have to be for the, the door to open. And I already know it's the uh, first row on this one, so I'm just going to set it as appropriate, and now when I solve the puzzle, because I had my the beads, the abacus beads. Well, did I say xylophone beads? I actually meant abacus. <laughs> it looks more like an abacus beads. And so now the door is open. So it's not uh, that uh, hard to solve the puzzles. And, and I didn't really get if there was a pattern. I just kind of did it by trial and error, just trying putting the beads in different locations and seeing what would open the door and let me uh, move on. And so here I'm on this planet, I guess, and there's a car. And I think this represents the time in Annie's life where she's just starting to drive. And so that's why there's a car there, I guess. So I, this is, I couldn't tell if this was like literal, like if she actually lived on these planets or if it was more kind of metaphorical, like different stages in her life represented by the different planets. But in any case, it's really cool. The, the graphics and the visuals in this game are just, are just really neat. And that completes my walkthrough of Annie Amber. You've been watching Let's VR. This is Amber. Subscribe to my channel for more virtual reality gameplay videos.